Hey YouTube, it's Palm Say Magnifique with another video. The dogs is outside, so you're gonna hear them barking because that's what they do. They want to talk too. Y'all probably should meet them one day. I let y'all meet them. Well, I do have another haul. Sorry, put the lip gloss on. This is pumpkin cupcake. I don't even like pumpkin. I like pumpkin seeds, but I don't like pumpkin. But the little lip glosser things, they good. See that? I've been had it, but y'all should see it because they come out. They got them in the, um, the little summer ones now. So if you see them, get you one. All right, y'all. I got a little haul. Remember I told y'all I had ordered some um, soaps. And I got that coconut pineapple. And I still got the old one. The old one, I promise y'all, if I if I read y'all off the little uh, the numbers on the thing, because you know, you could tell what year you bought something by reading the tip of the um right up. See, it's up there. It's some numbers up there. And it tells you what year and day the um product was made. I got an old one. It's real old. It gotta be like four years old, but it has not lost this stride. Nope, not at all. This is coconut pineapple. This is my favorite out of the crew that came out this year. Now, last year it was pineapple, pink pineapple sunrise, but this year they twisted it a little bit. I don't know what they did to it, but it don't smell the same. I don't know if they put more pineapple, like is this, it seemed more like, um more perfumey. Like it don't have that fruit. It still got the fruity smell, but they did something different to that. I don't know. They put more, some more percentage of something in there and it smells different. But anyways, this is the coconut pineapple. So I got this in the lotion and I should have gotten the spray, but yep, it's in here. So I got the fine fragrance mist, honey, that, because <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I'm putting this on right now. Cocoa pineapple. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. I don't know. I look. I will use all of this up in one season. Yes, I will. That is the bomb. I like that. Um, I got moonflower petals. The soap. Look how pretty that bottle is. You can see it on there. It's iridescent. I don't know if this new or not, but it's a pretty bottle. Mmm, and it's pretty. It smells like the candle. It smells like that candle. Um, flower. What's this? Flower child. That's exactly what this smells like. So, if you got this candle and you want to get this, they smell the same. Just so you know. So that's my first soap. Then I got lavender vetiver. I told y'all that was one of my favorites. And the bottle is so pretty. Look, look like a little piece of crystal, don't it? Let's see if it smells the same as the candle. And it does. I don't know how. <laughs> Chemistry is a mug, boy. Because I don't know how they make this stuff smell like a freaking candle. But they did. And I had, I got the candles over here. I was looking forward to see. But it you don't need we don't need no verifications. That smell just like the candle, just like that other one does. Then I got this um sunny lemon orchid or sunny lemon orchard. That's new to me too. I haven't smelled this before. Ooh, honey. This is lemon. This smell just like a piece of lemon, that lemon drop, the candy. Lemon drop, that's what this smell like. And it's a good kitchen one. Or it could be in the bathroom, but you know how you had your little kitchen, you had a little uh, hand soap in the kitchen for people to wash their hands instead of using the dish soap or the dishwashing liquid or whatever. That's good right there. That smell like, it smell like a fresh lemon. And then I got rose and lychee. I remember I was arguing with my brain about how to pronounce that, but I guess I'm going with lychee. Let's see if it smell like the candle. I'm dripping this stuff. It's all over me. Ooh. 
they kick butt with these soaps, I'm telling you, because that smell good, too. If you like roses, because that's what it smells like mostly, is the rose, to me. Remember, everything is... Simply Unwind. This is one of the um, aromas. And this is, I think, the coconut sandalwood. Is that mm, No, sandalwood and vanilla. Yeah, sandalwood and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Smell just like the candle. It's a candle. It's a sandalwood vanilla candle. I know it is somewhere. I believe it is. Put it in the comments if you know that it is. I think it is. I'm almost positive because it smells like one of the candles. So that's good. I don't know how it's gonna smell when you put it on. Sometimes the vanilla, it, it be real sweet when you wash your hands with it and it's actually leave a little residue. This is watermelon mojito. Ooh, smell like something you could drink. Yes, it does. That's watermelon mojito and it's in a sexy little bottle, honey. That's that one. And then I got strawberry kiwi. This gonna be juice. All of these, just that, that right there, that one right there is juicy. Juicy, 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 juicy. Whew, this one juicy. This smell like Kool-Aid. Let's see. Nah, it smell like. Mmm, it smell like Kool-Aid <laughs> with a little flower petal in it. Cause it do, it's do, it's. I don't know why, cause it's strawberry kiwi, but it do, it does have a floral tint to it. So I don't know what they was doing with that. But it ain't as juicy as I thought it was gonna be. And then I got Yuzu and white pineapple. I know this one gonna be juicy. Let's see. Hmm. It smell like the candle, but not really like a soap. It just smells like, you know what this smells like? It smells like the inside of the pineapple, the very bare inside of the pineapple. You know how you get finished eating the pineapple and you be chewing on that last little piece? That's what this smells like right here. It's the last drop of the pineapple, which is probably the white pineapple. And I guess white pineapple is probably like somewhere near not ripe or too ripe or whatever. Not ripe, right? And I got these, uh, I've been seeing people talk about these tree huts, so I saw them online and they were $3 cheaper at Target than they were at Alta. So I got the ones that they had at my Target, which was the watermelon. And I already smelled these. They smell okay. Like they real sweet. So when you wash, I guess you wash with them. You better not be going to nobody's picnic because you probably going to get ate up by the mosquitoes is what I'm thinking. But I don't know. Tropic Glow. So that's real juicy right there. And these just, they, they smell fruity, but they also got like a, a perfume kind of smell to them too. And then this one is um Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub. And they've got body butters that match these apparently. This is the Moroccan Rose. And this is a lady. This is a lady-like fragrance. It smells really grown, chick-ish. And... These are $7.99 again. This is Blue Lagoon. And these are sugar scrubs. I love sugar scrubs. You get you one of them um, them hand gloves, the little exfoliating gloves. Strawberry. And you just put the glove on while you, in, you know, put the glove in the shower with you or whatever. Get it nice and wet. Put the glove on. Scoop your hand in there a little bit. Get you enough in there for your body or whatever. Wash with it. And you feel so good when you get finished washing with this. You could use it after like you shave or whatever. Not the salt ones, cause them salt ones, if you wash up with them salt ones after you shave, your shit be burnt. Your stuff be burning. Like your skin be like literally like it's like it's burning with the salt on there. So I guess that's common sense. Some people forget. I don't know. And look what I got today. The little candle holder. So look, let's see, we got this. Midnight blue sit or or yeah, midnight blue citrus, which I think smells like indigo paradise. You let me know what you think about that. I think it smells a lot like it. Cause I was I kept last night I was working. 
And I just kept smelling the two together because I was like, this smell like something. And the, the Indigo Paradise was sitting right there, so I grabbed it. I was like, yeah, these smell alike. They smell a lot alike. Put that up there. Look at there. Ain't that cute? That's so cute to me. And it's it actually smells like cedar. I got a bad one. It's kind of scratched up, but I hate to be petty about them little things. But they expensive. This was $25. But, I, you know, they had that 25% off. I was going to get the little tropical, uh, you know, the little tree. But I changed my mind because I was like, that's $70. I could buy a couple of pair of shoes for 70 bucks, honey. I'm not buying that candle holder. When it go on SAS, <laughs> if it make it, we can, we, we can talk business. But I'm not buying it for $70. Um, this is the Blue Bungalow. And, baby, when I tell you, they ain't tell me this candle smells this good. It's fresh, fresh, fresh. It kind of reminds you of, of a toned down fresh sheets, fresh sheets. The people that don't like fresh sheets because it's too strong, try this one because this is not that. This is like, mm, maybe like up on like, mm, I'd say about half of the throw. This probably do half of the throw that the fresh sheets does, but it's really got the same. To me, it's got the same, like it's in the same family or something. Like they could be little cousins or something. And then I got, some of these I already got from last year. But like I said, what I was telling y'all in the last haul that they remade some of these and they made them better. So this strawberry daiquiri, this is now a pink wax. And I don't think it was, nope. Yeah, it's pink wax this year, see. And I don't think it was pink last year. I got one in my closet in there. I'm going to get it in and see but they put more to this this year because last year this wasn't people we, i like the smell but when you burn it it wasn't doing nothing so i was kind of disappointed but it's also pretty they did real good with the packaging this year so far this year so far we're only two months in but still they brought out so many darn candles so one thing about me is i know a lot of people don't like hibiscus waterfalls but i am in love with hibiscus waterfalls i think that's the name of the body care too if that's if that's the same name and i tell you i will spray that stuff till i can i can't spray it no more so this candle is hibiscus waterfalls and again last year the hibiscus waterfalls it smelled good on cold but when you burned it it didn't do too much nothing so we're gonna try it again this year and see what it do but this is a cute packaging too it don't really look like the one from last year. The one from last year, I think it was like a, a maybe like a pinky looking, pinkish color. This is this is bougie to me. Yeah, this is this is lightweight bougie to me because it's got the look go. That's like it's nice though. It's slick. I think I can put that up there. Look on my little butterfly. Look at there. That's cute. Hmm. Mm, that's all right. It don't make a little iridescent. It should have some iridescence to it. It'll be nice. Super nice. And I got this, um, this star fruit. And what is it? Dang it, this lighting is horrible for me today. Star fruit is Mandarin. And that's, I, I smelled it. I've had star fruit before and I don't really know if it even got a smell to it. So maybe they trick me or maybe it really is a smell. I just don't smell it because it's a nice fruit. I think they have it in Jamaica. Yeah, it's nice. You can smell the orange in it, but it's not like that regular orange that you smell. It's not like that fresh orange. It's more like a yeah, it is. Well, no, like a sweet orange. Yeah, like the sweet part of the orange. So the mandarin, I guess, is a small, you know, the little bitty orange. But it's it's nice. It's cute. I like the packaging. We could do business. Yeah, we could do business. Um, That's all I got today, y'all. So that's it for this haul. But um, it's been a long day. I don't think I've been sleeping for like...
18 hours or something like that. Yes, I'm nuts. But I'm still afloat. And I still do things to the fullest because that's what I do. And I don't like people that don't do stuff to the fullest. If you take something upon yourself to do, please do it to the 100% or 120%. Because there's people out there that need your services, you know? Um, my friend was telling me she was at Wendy's today. And the guy said, "It was the guy said, um, excuse me, ma'am, it's going to take a little while because we're really busy. Did you think I was going to pull off? Like, no, we're going to sit here and wait for you to be ready for me. And it was only two people in line. So how do you say you that busy when it ain't even nobody in line? Like, have faith in yourself and, I don't know, take care of folks. But um, yesterday I forgot to show y'all I got my daughter one of them lip glosses, the little strawberry pound cake, or it was the day before yesterday. And then tomorrow um, we're going to do the uh, drawing. So I'm going to post this video tonight and then tomorrow at about five i think about four about five o'clock because i get off at five i'll run the video or i might run it on my i might do it on my break and then post it at five o'clock um again it'll be 48 hours worth of people posting in that last video that i ran um the day before yesterday i think it was is that right yeah i think it was the day before yesterday i can't I, my, my days go are kind of blended in together some days so um leave a comment and the, in the comment you need to put um what your faith not in this video well, you could do it in this video if you wanted to but it's really supposed to be for the other video that i ran so make sure you take a look at it it's not that long it's only like five or six minutes um leave a comment and tell us what your favorite body care is and dan the man asked me what mine was and I think that my all-time favorite would be gingham because gingham is so fresh and it's unisex too. I think it's unisex. It's like, you know, you can wear that. The regular OG gingham, the blue and white bottle, would look, like the, look like the bags, the whole Bath and Body Works bags. Um, I love it. I mix it with, so I've got that um, Liaison's Dangerous. Um, it's made by Killian. And I've got um, Joe Malone. I've got like three different Joe Malones and they all match well with that gingham. Like it's something in that family that's, it's probably the citrus notes that's in there, but they carry on with the, per like when I put the body spray on, the body spray lasts long anyways, like at least five or six hours to me. I mean, that's my body chemistry or whatever, but um lasts about five or six hours and again you can mix it with a bunch of stuff you could even put some vanilla with that and tone it down a little bit if you don't like citrus but i've never tried it so i don't know you have to <laughs> find those people that do the little mixes or whatever whatever they call them and um figure out what works best for you but um for the most part that's the end of my video y'all i thank y'all for coming out again and again i y'all motivate me because in the comment, y'all be killing me in the comments during the day, and I love it. So just keep posting comments, and I'll keep answering the questions as best way I can. Um, and I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm just going to say today, just live life. It was a nice day again today. It was probably 60 degrees. I don't think the sun was as bright as it was these last couple of days, but the sun been out. So catch it if you need it, catch it. If you don't need to catch it, because you never know, you might want to put some put some sunshine on reserve. Uh-oh, we went sideways. All right, that's the end of this video. Look, I'm going to have to do some cutting now. I'm going to have to do some editing because I think that was a good video, but the dark camera is acting up. Okay, I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you for coming out. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.